Orange Ray Instant Ultra Customizable Non-Destructive Color Grades Using One of Photoshop's Least Talked About Tools. I'm Abby Esparza with Photomanipulation.com and today we'll be talking all about the Color Lookup Adjustment Layer. If you like what you see, go ahead and show us with a like, and if you're new here, why not subscribe? We put out 5 new videos every week all focused on advanced level photo manipulation. Now let's take a look at what we have here. So what is a color lookup adjustment layer? Basically, a color lookup is a lookup table that contains instructions for Photoshop to remap the colors of your image to different specific colors, resulting in a new look. These lookup tables are also referred to as LUTs. This may sound familiar as they are very commonplace amongst video and film editors, but we Photoshop users have had access to them since Photoshop CS6. To create a color lookup adjustment layer, all you have to do is look to your adjustment layers, found towards the bottom of your layers panel, or you can open up the adjustment layers panel itself, and then click color lookup. From here, you'll be in the color lookups properties panel. All of Photoshop CC's pre-installed LUT files will be in the 3D LUT dropdown on PC. I say PC because I have heard that Macs at one point had Mac-only default LUTs. Uh, so if you're on a Mac, take a look at the other dropdowns, maybe you'll find something. But Mac or PC, in the 3D LUT file dropdown menu, you'll see a slew of pre-installed LUTs, all of which will apply a different effect or color grade most of which will give you a hint of what they might do in their name. I suggest taking a scroll through and becoming familiar with them all. I'm going to select Foggy Night as it's one of my personal favorites. So what can you do with a color lookup layer? Well, first off, you can do anything that you can do with any other kind of layer. Adjust its opacity, layer mode, you can clip them into other layers. They come with a layer mask that you can, of course, mask on, and you can adjust its blend if settings. So keeping all that in mind, you can do anything you want with them. However, I prefer to use them to color grade my images. I like to mix and match various default color lookups, adjusting their opacity, layer modes, and blend if settings to oftentimes drastically change the color of my overall image. Placing all of the color lookup layers accompanied by other adjustment layers in a group at the very top of my layers stack. So let's walk through one of my color grades where I used only color lookups. I'll go over the method by which I chose these layers right after. First, a color lookup set to horror blue at 5% opacity. Next, a color lookup set to crisp winter at 25% opacity. Now, a color lookup set to film stock set to 18% opacity. Fourth, a color lookup set to the last Fuji preset uh, seen here at just 25% opacity. Fifth, a color lookup set to teal orange plus contrast at 24% opacity. Six, a color lookup set to foggy night at 24% opacity and with an adjusted blend if setting, seen here. And finally, the second Kodak option, seen here, set to 84% opacity. Leaving us with a much darker, higher contrast image that leans into a richer blue tone as opposed to its original purple tones. And so how did I choose these specific layers to create this color grade? I kind of just fiddle with it. My color grading process is me just creating a color lookup layer and then using the arrow keys to flip through all of the default LUT presets and kind of feeling things out. Sorry if that is super disappointing. I know it's not at all helpful, but it's just kind of the truth. If you look at the layer names, you can see that as I create them and add them, I shuffle them around and adjust the opacities, delete, create, uh, rinse, and repeat. Other adjustment layers will usually make an appearance as well. Now, if you want to turn your pile of adjustment layers, color lookups, and otherwise into your very own custom LUT, all you have to do is select all of the layers that aren't part of your color grade and merge them together. Now go to Layer, New, Background from Layer. 
Next, File, Export, Color Lookup Tables. And now you can fill in a description, a copyright if you want to, and set the quality. I always choose high. Uh, once I tried maximum and it didn't want to load, so you can give it a try though. And finally, choose your formats. If you're just going to be using them in Photoshop, uh, just choose cube. Save and it'll start to export. Once done, create a new color lookup adjustment layer. Choose load 3D LUT, find your cube file, and that's it. Color lookups, you know what they are now, what they do, and what you can do with them, and even how to make your very own. But this is really just the tip of the iceberg. Color lookups are an absolute game changer, so make sure to play and experiment with them. But I think that about does it, for today at least. If you want to learn all about Blend If, my favorite layer setting to pair with color lookups, check out my Blend If Photoshop Tools Explained. Or if you want to see me put together another color grade from scratch, check out my How to Create Supernatural Eyes in Photoshop tutorial. I'm Abby Esparza with PhotoManipulation.com. See you next time.